this trail is actually the long cut. It goes around this hill so you get a good view. They could have made it shorter, but I think most people would rather have the view. So I'm gonna go up this way. So there's the uh, hill in Wizard Island. I don't know if there's a name for that hill. But anyway, on top of there is another crater. There's a trail to hike up there. There's the boat dock. Oh, that's weird. There's some sort of small boat down there. More snow over there. All right, I'll go ahead and continue. Ooh, I'm walking on bark dust now. Feels good on the feet compared to walking on those rocks. Uh. Trying to point the uh, camera back at the mainland, but now there's so many trees in the way. Can't really see the mainland anyway. Another thing to consider, so this island, it obviously starts at the bottom of the lake, right? And there's the top. Long story short, that's seven, the top there is like 700 feet above us, and the bottom is like 1,400 feet below us. So this whole island is only like the top one third of this whole actual island. One third of it's above water, two thirds of it's below water. By height, not by volume. Anyway. That the people passing the other way, honestly, I don't know if they were from my boat or not. There, there are three different trips here. There are a trip that just does a lap around the lake, it doesn't even stop at the island. And then there's one that doesn't do a lap around the lake, just goes straight to the island. And there's one that does both, does a lap around the lake and stops at the island. So I, I did the full tour. I'm doing the lap and the island. So those people could have been on a later shuttle that just went a beeline for the island. Obviously, only so many people ever get to come here, so it's a real privilege to check it out. If you've ever flown over the Cascades in a, a plane, you've probably seen Crater Lake. But, you know, actually walking on it and touching it close up and all that, not quite the same as looking out at an airplane from 35,000 feet. Man. See, I'm quite a bit ways back from the lake. Not sure why they did the trail like this at the boat dock they drop you off there's a trail up to the restrooms and then it splits where you can decide if you want to go to the top of wizard island or go over here to the bay so they probably just have the trail up here so people don't get confused because plus being up here gives you an idea how big the island is from a distance from, it's, it doesn't seem big at all. But yeah, it's... Like I asked them if I could... Okay, here's the junction. So you see, go that way up to the summit. I just came from Fumarole Bay. Of course, this is the way back to the restrooms and the boat docks, emergency supplies, like emergency radio. They even have an AED up here. So, you know... If you got the urge to die, this would be a good place to do it, I guess. Anyway.
I heard screaming. It's probably people swimming, threatening to throw each other in the water. Okay, so here we are. I'm above the boat dock now. Ha, huh, one boat just left. That's smaller than the boat that brought me here. That's not a tour boat. It's like a science boat. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the camera pointed to the left here. Oops. There's people coming up, so I gotta go slow. Okay. So you look down here, look at that. You can see all the wood and the logs. Looks like they built some sort of weird corner. Like there used to be an old boat dock down there or something. Uh, darn it. Tripped over a rock. This place is dangerous. Or maybe it's just me, one of the two. Okay, so there aren't very many people here yet. I kind of made good time coming back. I didn't want to be late, so that's cool. Less people in my video. See, down by the boat dock, there's one of those steel cables. That one has a sign that says, do not touch. Not that anybody's gonna accidentally break a steel cable. But, oh well, I'm sure they had a reason. <laughs> Okay, there are a lot of people down here, so I think I'm gonna be cutting the video pretty soon. So here's a switchback. It's like the last switchback on the way down. Huh. It's weird, there's almost like a carving there. I wonder if somebody tried to build a road or if that's natural. Either one would actually make sense. You know, there's an old news article about this place before people ever explored it and they knew it was like a thousand feet down so the news article says nobody has ever touched this lake and probably nobody ever will yeah i guess they didn't realize how much technology was gonna improve in the future make the impossible seem pretty easy Okay, so there's the buildings over there with the restrooms and the emergency boats, emergency foods, all that good stuff. So, um, since I get to this last junction, okay, there's the sciences toilet. They're actually pretty nice composting toilets, they don't smell too bad. 